Ladies and gentlemen, it's another fine morning here in Kisumu. And I want to begin this video by asking this question once again. What is Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka's real mission in Azimio, One Kenya? What is his real mission? Because ever since Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka joined Azimio La Umoja, Raila Molo Dinga, who is the presidential candidate, has never known peace. Since Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka joined Azimio, many other players in the movement have never known peace. We've seen Alfred Motua ditching Azimio La Umoja yesterday. We've also seen Amazon Kingi ditching Azimio La Umoja. And there are chance that others are likely to follow suit. What is his mission? That's the question which I want to pose to you guys here. And one of Kalozo Mosioka's key ally is none other than Mutula Kilonzo Jr. Mutula Kilonzo is also a very close ally of William Ruto's key allies, Kip Chumba Murkomen and Johnson Sakaja. And Mutula Kilonzo has also delivered a message, a disturbing message, to Raila Molodinga if he will not choose or pick Stephen Kanozo Musioka as his running mate. I want to play for you the clip by Mutula Kilonzo Jr. very briefly because it's going to form the basis of this analysis. Listening. The bishop. In 2020, to metengeneza mkataba na jubili. Iyo mkataba ilikuwa nasema that Kalonzo will be supported for presidency. Mimi ni tasema kwa sababu siyo gopi. Tulikuwa tumefanya hesabu tukajua yule mtu ambaye atachukua kura za central from Uda is Stephen Kalonzo Musioka. That is what we did. Na muka tujezia tukarata. Tukasema haitheru. Lakini sasa diyo mwisho wa ngome. Sisi tumesema hivi. Kalonzo Musioka is not attending the interview on Monday. Mr. Wekesa andika maali. Notes. Musioka is not attending. Alafu wewe usidhubutu kutoa majibu ya kusema ati Kalonzo waku kuja. Alafu utapatia kiti mungi mtu mungine deputy president. Si museme kita umana. Mwaje ubiwa. Bas. Mutajua kilijo mnyo ya mkanga. Nerudia tena. On Tuesday. Wambua my friend. Ukijua mutangazi. Kalonzo Musioka as deputy president. Who was the Simo Noivi? No, that's Kalo, Mutula Kilonzo Jr. And from that speech, you can pick one or two things. For me, the main thing I picked is the reference to 2020 coalition arrangement between uh, Wiper Party and Jubilee Party. And Mutula Kilonzo Jr. is revealing that they entered into that alliance because Uhuru Kenyatta promised to support them because it's only Kalonzo Musioka who can actually win the support of the Kikuyu Nation. I've also reviewed that particular interview. I mean, that, that particular coalition, I mean, the speeches during, that particular, during the signing of that coalition uh, agreement with uh, Jubilee. And what I'm gathering is that the arrangement was purely to help President Ru Kenyatta in uh, governing, basically, to add numbers in parliament. I want to play this clip of Rafael Tuju's speech during that day and uh, Kalozo Musioka's speech during that day, which con totally contradicts what Mutula Kilonzo Jr. is trying to say. Today, 
we have made this very major step of having a cooperation agreement with the WIPA Democratic Movement. Uh, His Excellency Kalonzo Musioka has a very cordial and friendly relationship with our party leader. This agreement cooperate fully in terms of uh, enhancing Jubilee's programs in Parliament, in both houses of Parliament, the National Assembly, as well as the Senate. Tumekuja kama waipa kwa kisha kuwa usimamo le chukulua ni chama cha Jubilee kama na viongozo ni mweshimua uhuru mwigai kinyata wakutufanya sisi tuwe kitu kimoja kama inchi hilo ni jambo la maana sana. But let's not get into that. I want us to focus on the message. Mutula Kilozo Jr. is delivering to Azimio. Before we do that, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, I want you guys to take a second or two, click that subscribe button, so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue. Thank you guys for your continued support because without the support, this channel cannot be where it is. Now, let us be a bit brief today. Why do you think Mutula Kilonzo Jr. is insisting that if Raila Odinga will not name Stephen Kanonzo Monsioka as the running mate, then Kitawana. And I've also been told that Stephen Kanonzo Monsioka was also in one of the vernacular stations there. And one thing he stated is that if Raila Odinga, if Raila Odinga will not make him the president, I mean the running mate, then William Ruto is going to win Ukambani. For me, that statement simply means one thing. That Kalozo Musioka and the group are actually preparing their people to support William Ruto. And that should Ray Ludinga go for someone else, Stephen Kalozo Musioka is not going to play balls. And again, Ray Ludinga is also expected later in the day to address the media. I don't know what he's going to say. President Ru Kenyatta has also, is also expected to begin his campaign for Raila Odinga officially. But why would uh, Mutula Kilonzo deliver such a message? Because Mutula Kilonzo is not your ordinary politician. This is the guy who will draft any, or who is drafting, or has already drafted any coalition arrangement or agreement between Kalonzo and Ruto. If Raila were to enter with Kalonzo into some arrangement, the guy who will write the agreement is none other than Mutula Kilonzo, his Kalonzo Musioka's lawyer. So his statements must always be taken seriously. That's number one. Number two, he's also one of the leaders at the Senate. He's a senior senator. But why do you think he said whatever he said? In my view, number one, Mutula Kilonzo Jr.'s statement means that they're laying an elaborate strategy or they are laying the, the ground for Kalozo Musioka to ditch Azimio. That's how I'm looking at it. Because why would uh, Mutula Kilonzo Jr., who is a lawyer, decide to tell Relu Diga that if he won't make Kalonzo the running mate, then Kitaumana. My understanding is that Mutula Kilonzo Jr. can actually help Kalonzo Musioka negotiate with Uru Kenyatta, negotiate with Raila Odinga. If not, they can look for people who listen to these guys and, in my view, talk out some of these issues. But the mere fact that he's coming out now very strongly to issue these demands, it means they are laying the ground to ditch Azimio. So if you ask me, it's just a matter of time. Stephen Kalonzo Musioka is headed to Kenya Kwanza because if he's not with Raila Odinga, he's not going to run for the presidency. So that's number one. Number two, I also tend to think that it's also strategic for uh, Mutula Kilozo Jr. to issue this kind of demands. He's issuing the unrealistic demands which cannot be met. And because some of these demands cannot be met easily, they know 
Raila Odinga will reject, Uhuru will reject. And therefore they'll have the opportunity now to ditch Azimio. For example, let us take the case of uh, Kingi. Kingi was saying that Kilifi must be pa that ODM should not sponsor any candidate in Kilifi. How is that even possible? How? What explanation do you think Raila Odinga would have given to his support base in Kilifi that they cannot sponsor a candidate? So Mutula Kilonzo Jr. is also well aware that according to President Uhuru Kenyatta and uh, Raila Odinga's scheme of uh, things, Kalonzo Musyoka is not going to be the, the running mate. But now they are putting that demand so that it can give them the opportunity to actually move out of Azimio La Umoja. What I'm trying to figure out is whether, you know, Ruto can become president, but I don't know why they are saying Raila, why they are saying Kalonzo must be running mate to Raila. But they're not saying that if he goes to Ruto, then he must also be running mate. Everybody leaving Raila Odinga is saying that if they can't be running mate, then they're leaving. But the other side they are going, they're not even the running mate. They're not even the assistant running mate. They're not even the assistant assistant of assistant running mate. But for Raila, they're putting these demands. So I think they're putting the unrealistic demands so that Raila Odinga and Uru Kenyatta can reject so that they can have the opportunity to dump as number three in my view the statement by Mutula Kilonzo at the group because if you listen to Ukambani leadership and I always thank Kalonzo Musyoka because when you talk of wiper leaders from Ukambani they are always loyal to him if you look at um, that statement you can clearly see that the main intention of that statement is to incite the combination the question is inset them against two. The truth of the matter is that the Kamban nation were actually receptive to Raila Odinga than to William Samoy Arapruto. But you know, Kalonzo Musyoka is their kingpin. So the statement Kalonzo Musyoka is making are actually intended to incite the Kamban nation against Raila Odinga. So that in a situation where Kalonzo Musyoka is not on the ballot and Raila Odinga is on the ballot and Ruto, then most of them will not be persuaded to support William Ruto and not Raila Amolo Odinga. And lastly, I also tend to think based on, uh, on my own observation that Mutula Kilonzo Jr. is reviving the Jubilee. It's, it's Jubilee Wiper, Wiper Corporation Agreement as a strategy to portray Uhuru Kenyatta as a betrayer. The truth of the matter is that uh, most allies of the DP are accusing President Uhuru Kenyatta of betraying them. Why would he insist that they agreed with Uhuru that Kalonzo Musyoka will be the presidential candidate? That has never featured anywhere. The last time we saw Kalonzo talking about the presidency, he was actually releasing the agreement Secretary agreement they had with Raila Odinga. I don't know what you think, but that's my take. Thank you guys, and please, may you have a good day. Bye-bye.